The Real Estate Revolution Radio Show is designed to educate Missoula homeowners and home buyers how to navigate the uncharted waters of the current Western Montana real estate market in an educational, often edgy, and high energy fashion with host Jason Baker. Jason will teach you all the secrets on how to win with real estate, from listing your property to purchasing investments. Jason has you covered. Be sure to check the home of the week, the good news, and current market updates each week. Jason is revolutionizing the real estate experience for over 100 clients a year. Welcome to Real Estate Revolution Radio with Jason Baker. As always, Jason, happy Sunday to you, my friend. What's new in the world of happy Jason Baker? Happy Sunday. You know, should we tell him? What? Well, what? That I've been hunting the oh, last couple weekends yeah, and we had to do some, what do they call those? Re, um, reruns? Reruns? Yeah. Reruns. Well, yeah. that's fine. Yeah, we did. It's hunting season. I know. We are but both, I just cannot tell a lie. We are both avid outdoorsmen. We are outdoorsmen. <laughs> yeah, I know. So. And, and you know, we've been doing this since February. I mean, we yeah. deserve a little break. Yeah. We? You know? Yeah. I need a little rest. We, I, I need a little rest. Except for hunting season is not rest. <laughs> no, it is <laughs> not. <laughs> no, because why am I more I'm tired not, uh, today than I have been in I'm a saying, long I'm, time? I'm, having, I'm one eye in it right now. Just, oh my gosh. I know. I was at the office just now. Or, uh, Friday and I was and they're like, "Are you okay?" You know, <laughs> do you need a hug? <laughs> they're, like, they're like, "You kind of look like death." I'm like, "Thanks." <laughs> you know, are you okay? Do you need a hug? You look a little tired. All right, well let's let's talk about. God. I know we're gonna we're gonna have to have a hunting show. We're gonna take we over. Will. For, we'll, we'll take have... over for the captain. He's out of there. He's out of a there. Job. We go. Yeah. So the uh, but anyways. Uh, are, well, it's uh, this is changing just about as fast. Market's changing just about as Marcus, fast as we yeah. know uh, what's going on. So I want to update everybody because you got to get it here first. You're not going to get the BS, you know, sales spin. And you know, I'm 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 looking around town, and I I'm not exactly sure that some of these agents are are looking at the same thing I'm looking at. Yeah. But you know, you got to know. I just got back from. Uh, Oh, it's been three weeks now, or whatever it is, from uh, uh, something in Arizona we went to called Built How, which was with our, my, our business partners at Place. And, you know, we learned from the top uh, economic advisors that we are in a full blown recession, even though they want to go ahead and, and you know, relabel it. No, yeah, they call you know, it different it, names. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, they want to call it something else. Uh, but that's, we are uh, in, in one. And, you know, they the interest rates are right around seven percent right now, mm-hmm. and they're gonna go up. They, I mean, they're they're betting their lives that this, these go up into the eights. Okay, so so <clears throat> now when is when is the next Fed meeting? Do you know? Well, it's like, gosh, that's not even the that does sometimes affect mortgage rates, but that's more overnight lending, like your car loans, your uh, interest rates on your credit cards, and mm-hmm. things like that, where they're buying their money for. But the only way to stop the inflation is to keep jacking these rates up. But it does so much, you know, other bad stuff. So it it maybe it stops the inflation. Well, you know. If you stop your spending sometimes, sometimes the inflation just goes down. Right. But you just have to, when you didn't, when you forgot that part, yeah. you know, yeah. you know th- this happens later on. But anyway, what, what I we call it when you tighten your belt a little bit. Here's here's the thing. Right. D- Democrat, Republican, whatever it is, uh, I'm not exactly sure. They, you know, they don't teach in high school fiscal responsibility. You know, you got these people running around spending our grandchildren's money, and it mm-hmm. drives me nuts. But anyways, mm-hmm. this isn't a political show, so we're not going to. When you say both, fiscal responsibility, you sound like Jesse Ventura. Yeah, the, the <laughs> Jesse was he a Navy SEAL? Uh, not, Wasn't he a rustler? He was I'm wrestler, either one of yeah. those two things. That's and, exactly and a governor right. of Minnesota. Yeah, yeah and a governor not of Minnesota. Fiscally conservative, conservative enough. enough. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I'm like, I'm like, why did you do that? And then it, you, and then you wonder, like, how much of that actual money actually went to the thing that they said? Like, they put some fancy name on it. Like, mm-hmm. it's the you know the homeless dog billion. And then one dollar goes to the homeless dog, mm, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. And like, where did the rest of the money go? Yeah. You know. So I kind of wonder. NGOs, but anyway, that all said, here we go. Seventy-seven days on market in Missoula County is the average. That's the average. That's the wow. that's the mean. The average is over hundred. Get out. Oh yeah, that's the mean. So it I was t- just sixty a couple weeks ago. Buddy, it's going up one day by one day, yeah. every day. Mm-hmm. So, and then there's our average of fifty thousand price reduction. We've had so many expired listings, or these are homes that through the best six months on the market for six months did not sell because this has been going on this market shift for four, five, six months now. Really, we started seeing signs of it six months ago, mm-hmm. right? Really, the last best time to sell your house was April. Right, you got you had some moments of brilliance in May, but man, the summer was, you know, it was basically full, puttering out, basically full stop. Yeah, so um, so that's in in so two hundred and fifty two homes for sale in Missoula. That's down twenty or thirty homes from our peak, you know, and that ha- that's the seasonality aspect of it. The fall, but we're going into next year. We were last year we went into it with sixty sixty five homes right mm-hmm. when we first started doing this. Yeah. Okay, um, and then uh, these poor people have been bored since February. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, we went into that six. 
60, 70 homes uh, last year across the uh, Missoula County, same down in River Valley, give or take five homes. And this year we're going into it with 250. Mm -hmm. So that's times four. So we're having four times more inventory now. It's going to only add to it with the seasonality. It's going to bump that back up. Mm-hmm. We have last year's houses that didn't sell. And then we're going to have you know all of the spring rush. Because for whatever reason, people wait till spring to put their house in the market. If they do that this year, I think they lose 10% from selling now. Really? If they wait until spring, mark my words, the, the interest rates, rates are going to be higher. Up, yeah. And you're going to lose 5 to 10% off the value of your home. So if that's what you want, wait. Seriously, don't worry about moving in the snow. We live in Montana. Get a moving company. Because yeah. believe me, that 5 or 10% is going to more than pay for the moving company that you'll lose if you wait so that you can move when there's daffodils. Right. And I hate to be, you know, abrupt, but I care about you not losing money. Yeah. I do. You know, that's one of the reasons. Why, <laughs> that's why I have a team. Right. That's why I spent, you know, last month we spent $65,000 on the marketing of our properties and, and, and opening our offices and everything else. So it's it's just like this is uh, you know we're going to go th- go through something as a country here and as a state, and we got to be ready for it. So you you know and so the buyers are like, well, why in the world would I buy right now? Well, the fact of the matter is, so many sellers are willing to give you five or ten percent off the price right now. Ask for it. Yeah, a not? lot of them will say it, yes because they can you believe it. that you know, six months ago they would have said pay me five or ten over five or ten over. Yeah, now you can get it for five or ten under. So you're not going to lose anything if you make a good play on it. Yeah. We know how to do that. Number one. And then number two, you're going to be paying eight, eight and a half percent interest rate is what they estimate in the springtime. What are you going to wait for? You know, I just bought a house. Yeah. You know, so I mean, I don't, I don't want to hear it. You know, you can you still go out there. I still believe we'll go down, we'll level and we'll start going back up. And I believe in six or seven years, we'll be back up to where we are today. That was my question I was going to yeah. ask is where do you think? Six or seven years. Think? Yep. Okay. That's right. That's right. I think. And, and it could be, you know, something could happen, right? You know, globally. Right. Something bad could happen or whatever else. Or, you know, did it, should I tell them what my cattle brand is going to be? No, I probably shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> we are starting a herd. So, uh, but anyways, uh, you're going to look for that. I'll, I'll put it right on the billboard in front of my farm. There. Yeah, everybody's going to laugh. Yeah. That's one of the reasons why we have inflation now. But anyway, I digress. But uh, and then down the bitter it where I do more uh, most of my business uh, is uh, um, or I would say probably 55 to 60 percent of it. Um, uh, there's 232 homes for sale, sixty thousand dollar price reduction. Listen to this: ninety four mean days on average, approaching 94. 120 average. And that's for Valley County. That's for Valley County. For Valley County is always the hardest hit. They are the bellwether. They are the tip of the spear mm-hmm. for uh, market shifts during the 2008 2009 crisis. We're not going to go through a crisis here. We're going to basically lose what we gained in the last year. Mm-hmm. You know that we're just going to we're going to go backwards a little bit. You know I think we're going to. I, I really believe we're going to erase most of the 221 2021 gains uh, by uh, uh, first quarter of 2023. And through 2022, I think we're going to lose that. So. You're saying the appreciation on my yeah. I think we're going to lose like 20. I think we're going to lose. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. I think you're going to lose most of what you gained. Not maybe not maybe at least half, but maybe most of uh, a lion's share of what we gained in 2021. I think we're going to retract. Yeah. So uh, so that that's what I believe. But so for someone selling, yeah, they're going to sell for lower. They're going to buy for lower mm-hmm. if they're if they're doing that. The thing to be conscious of is the interest rate that you're going to be buying for. And realistically, a tactic that a lot of people are doing right now is they're saying, look, uh, you know, I'll sell my house right now. I'll rent. OK, unless you get like 42 Great Danes or something like that. You know, nice, yeah. 82 <laughs> cats. You know what I'm saying? That's half the reason yeah. I ended up buying. It smells super dog, good in the yeah. house. Yeah. But uh, but it's one of those things. And then, um, yeah. And then purchasing, uh, you know, once uh, things go down a little tiny bit. But again, uh, you know, for me, I'm still uh, looking to purchase properties. And so uh, I'm never, ever going to stop looking for opportunity. And so how do I hedge my bet? I said, well, it's already gone down 10 percent, truly. It already has. And I think there's another five or 10 percent more to go, thereby erasing the 2021 gains or so far year to date gains. And so, you know, I, I really believe that, uh, you know, I just offer someone five or something and then I don't get in any trouble. Yeah. You know, because if the sellers are not willing to go down a little bit, but now here's the thing. There's a little and, bit of incentive, though. A little bit of incentive there. And so, you know, there, but, it, but there are, I would say half of the sellers are still in the ether that are currently on the market of what they hope and want to get. In other words, there's a lot of people still that did. seeing the dollar signs? Yeah, they are. Yeah. Well, they're not going to see them. Yeah, I mean, and I hate to say that, but the fact of the but I'm not going to sit here and spin something that's not because here's the thing. If I spin it that way, OK, I hope I'm wrong. Right. But if I spin it that way and they keep it on the market and they don't reduce to get ahead of the price reductions that are going up, up, up in the days on market, up, up, up. If they don't take a little bit less now, they're going to take a whole lot of a haircut later. Yeah. 
And so if I if I sit there and make it look like it's roses, now this is not the sky is falling. We're just going backwards a little bit, back to normalcy. Right? Which is nice. It is nice. Because actually, For some, I mean, before this all started, COVID, you know, the COVID mania of limited inventory, right? People moving up, moving down, low interest rates, all of that stuff, new needs, whatever. They just could do stuff. They were just, it was super mobile through that. Um, it was just, uh, you know, before that, you know, days on market were around 120 days, 150 days down the bitter. It's mm-hmm. always a little longer down there. Yeah. So it's just because there's just as many homes for sales in Missoula County and a third of the population. Things take a minute. If rates go up, continue to go up. Uh, do you still see the spring kind of uh, peak rush of, of selling? No, in the back? Uh, this year I don't. So I think seasonality affects us less and less through a market shift. Yeah. I think uh, people in Montana uh, are uh, have this notion, and I think it's because, and I say this with all due respect, there are real estate agents that I work with, with all due respect. It, it, literally, it's a free country. You can do whatever the hell you want. If you want to work or you don't, mm-hmm. uh, that's up to you. That, that doesn't have anything to do with us. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I choose to work 390 days a year. Now, now, <laughs> you know what I mean? If I'm, even if I'm in the duck blind, I get my phone and I'm working. Everyone drives me everyone crazy. Like, can you just relax if I'm dead? No. Funny. It's funny. I was working in the duck blind the other yeah. day, too, on the right? computer. <laughs> I know. It's like, dude, you know, it's just something I actually enjoy. It. I yeah. mean, I, I, love the, I love my clients and I love the people I get to meet. I love the conversations. I love the frank conversations. We're having to have frank conversations mm-hmm. right now. And, you know, it's like, well, Jason, why are you so abrupt? Because I feel like omission of truth is a lie. Yeah. Well, uh, isn't that what? <laughs> well, no, I mean, well, okay. So I'm not outwardly saying it, but I think if I don't say something, yeah. I think it's the same thing. Oh, yeah. In, in, in my yeah. opinion, right. right? I think if I don't let you know the exact numbers. So you know, we've had to up the communication. So I think the seasonality is completely gone now. Mm-hmm. Completely gone. I, I just, uh, the reason is the interest rates are going to be higher and the inventory is going to be way higher. You're going to evaporate any of that spring rush, if you will. The reason why it's going to get evaporated is simply higher rates. We're going to remove buyers by then. We're going to remove, we're going to have more for sale and less buyers who can buy. Here's a stat. And this is one that really dumbed it down for me, which is what I need. <laughs> so uh, it's not cliff true. Notes I'm a little here. smarter than I lead on, but not much. Okay. So the thing is, I believe in humble all the time, but the thing is, is that, uh, uh, so if think about a person who is approved for 800 grand, right? And we've talked about this a little bit, but here's an easier way to realize it. Rates went from three to say seven right now. That's good round. Number. Maybe it was 2.8 or 3.1, but let's just say three. And maybe it's 6.8 or 7.1, depending on what kind of loan you're getting. Um, but let's say seven. And so for every interest rate rise, three to four, four to five, five to six, six to seven, that's four we've gone up. You lose as a buyer 10% off of what you could afford yesterday before the rate went up. I'm not talking about Fed rates. I'm talking about mortgage rates. They're different. Yeah. Okay. So I would love to get a Fed rate on a mortgage rate right now. Unfortunately, it's about twice as much. (laughs) (laughs) So believe me, I would take that rate all day, but it used to be zero. You know, I don't know. It wasn't in the fours now, threes or fours, whatever it is. I don't even pay attention to that. It doesn't affect me that much. But so a person, let's take that. A person who could afford 700,000 rates go from three to four. Now they can only afford 630. Yeah, goes from four. Uh, so from three to four, four. I have to I have to think about. But if this. the houses, five, if the houses are coming down too, can you afford more houses? Well, here's the thing: houses haven't come down four hundred thousand. They're not coming down. But as what fast the as buyer can afford yeah. is four hundred thousand. So they're not even remotely paralleled. Yeah. Like a seller today is not going to want to hear what I just said. <laughs> like right. They're not going to be like, oh, well, I'll accommodate them. I'll just drop my house price four hundred thousand. Not what I'm saying. Yeah. Saying that the reason why it's taking longer is the person that was approved for seven hundred is now approved for in the low fives. Yeah. Or excuse me, in the low fours. So it'd be seventy thousand off the first down to sixty three thousand off the next. So yeah, it's about two hundred two hundred and fifty thousand dollars less than what they used to be approved for. I wish y'all could see Jason's face when he's trying to do math in his head. And also, there's smoke. <laughs> there is smoke coming out of the I, somewhere between the uni brow and the crown of the nose. There's smoke coming out there. You know, when I go see Brian over at Master Barber, you know, I go in with one eyebrow and I come out with two. Yeah, it's unbelievable. It's, it's, it's Master Barber. Right? It's master. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting good value. Yeah. <laughs> Voila. <laughs> I well, we magic. better hop on a commercial. What do you think? I think it is time to take yeah. a quick commercial break. We come back with more Real Estate <laughs> Revolution Radio right after this. <laughs> hey, if you're even thinking of selling your home, well, you need to know all of your options. That's why there is one source that I look to for the best advice and the local real estate market. 
I'm talking about Jason Baker of Rise Realty, Montana. What's the latest news in real estate? Sean, the good news is when you have great marketing, what's happening in the market doesn't matter that much. That said, we're seeing rising interest rates that has removed approximately 30% of the buyers from the market, and that's going to continue. How does that impact sellers today? Simply put, this is the last chance to sell, I believe, for top dollar. Less buyers means less showings, less showings, less offers over asking price, and we can still help get you over asking price with our amazing marketing. All right, as always, thanks for the insight. He knows how to cut through all of the talk and to give you accurate information. So call the agent I recommend. Call Jason at 552-4443. That's 552-4443. Online, jasonbakerteam.com. That's jasonbakerteam.com. From listing your property to purchasing investments, Jason Baker has got you covered. Time for more of the Real Estate Revolution Show. Welcome back to Real Estate Revolution Radio with Jason Baker. And Jason, we were talking earlier about the uh, the market and how things are just yeah uh, things are just getting a little crazy right now. Yeah, they're 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 getting uncrazy. Well, uncrazy. Yeah, which, which feels we, crazy. <laughs> which feels crazy. It's it's funny how you get used to you know something and yeah. then you know it start changing like oh panic. thriving like, on chaos for so long. I'm like I'm like this is just. When did COVID start? 2019? March of 2020. Okay, March of 2020. Okay, first person in Seattle got it, what, November, December, something like something that. Something like so, that, yeah. yeah. Well, it was super smart because I, I, I uh, before I even heard about it, I spoke in a room of uh, a full of uh, 500 satellites uh, over in uh, over in uh, Bellingham, Washington. They drove up and infected me because for like three weeks after that, I couldn't, you know what I had, <laughs> you know? And, and I think that was funny. Thanks a lot. So there I was pouring into them, and little did I know they were pouring into me as well. It's just something <laughs> different. So yeah, we were just talking about how fast it goes, but it's just normalizing. It's going back to a, the market of 2018, 2019, where we have um, what we're going to see here, though, is a little bit of decrease in pricing, um, not much more, because it's already, you know, the average price reduction of the active homes in Missoula, between Missoula County, Missoula County is 50 on the nose, and actually, uh, Ravalli County is 60,000 on the nose. Those houses are on the market, been reduced that much, and are still not sold. The days on market are cr- rapidly rising, so they're probably going to have to come down more in order to combat the days on market rising inventory and everything else. So they're probably going to have to go down to 75,000 uh, off. $80,000, $90,000 off Just what they were getting. Wise. Here's the other part, though. And here's what buyers, so buyers says, well, they're going down. Well, let me ask you this, Mr. and Mrs. Buyer. Okay. Uh, if, if, if we're honest, six months ago, not only are you paying that fifty, sixty thousand 60000 more, you know, paying full price, you were actually paying 100000 over. Yeah. So not only was there no price, so, so we're really about 150000 less now. So a buyer should be grateful that they no longer have to pay over asking. Right. Okay. 99% of the time, there's still, there's we still sold, a few we just sold the diamonds two, in the rough there. I can't say exactly what it ended up going under contract for, but we just sold, a, 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 we had two offers, competing offers on a $2 million property had up in uh, Linda Vista, a brand new home, incredible builder friend. Um, and, uh, but it, you know, he had two people competing. So there are certain things you never think that something that price would, yeah, there's, there's, there's going to be, there's going to be the yeah, one or two every month. I can't say while. exactly how much you went over for without getting, you know, fined. And so I try not to swear on the radio show to and get fined as well. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying not to get fined left and right. So that's right. I got my finger on the beat. That's button. right. The beat button. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so, but you know, that's one thing, but I did want to like, you know, give some props to some of the, the listings that we had and kind of talk about some of the work that we've done on the team. Um, you you know, to help our sellers get under contract. And so there's, you know, there's some success stories there and things like that and some strategies that people could potentially learn from and everything like that. But we just listed, uh, th- this is kind of more of a cautionary tale. We had, uh, you know, unfortunately there are some unscrupulous people in this profession and uh, one of them, uh, you know, had uh, gone, and I'm not going to mention any names or anything like that, but had been working on this guy, of course, from quote unquote church, yeah, to, uh, you know, potentially bring them a buyer. Well, what ends up happening is uh, the lowball offers come and, you know, sometimes, you know, I hate to say, but wolf in sheep's clothing. And, mm-hmm. you know, if you get an off the wall offer and some Someone and you know, there's no pre-approval. There's 12 houses that have to sell and everything like that. And and I'm like, you know, we had gone over list prices and marketing plan and everything else, and he opted to you know go that route temporarily. Well, you know, then the, the what happens? You know, I get a call now. Months gone by, prices have gone down, rates have gone up. It's harder 
to sell now, and then of course the sale fails. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So who you pick is actually super important because we could have had that thing under contract by now, and he could have been well on his way to enjoying more money than you know before. Yeah. But anyway, this property is located uh, at uh, eight fifty three. Dude, you know I need readers now. <laughs> I don't know what happened in the last two weeks, you know, but I can't squinting. see anything within eighteen <laughs> inches of my. my I go in there and I'm like, what's wrong with these contacts? You know, <laughs> seriously, I was like, I was super, I was kind of mad. You know, I'm like, I can't see anything. You know what I mean? And when I look in the mirror, that's a good thing. But, you know, <laughs> but it's like, I can't see anything. Like, I can't read anything. I'm like, something's wrong. And she's like, dude, you need readers. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> so that's true. So I have to either hold it way out here, which stinks sort of small writings. But anyway, 853 Steve I. Look, this is a, a house that needs, uh, it's got six bedrooms and four baths. It's a custom home. It's it's seven ninety nine. It's on 10 acres. It has a huge shop. And, square and they used to live there. Square footage is 5,300. Oh, wow. Okay, look, but it needs a remodel, and it needs yard love, and it needs deck love. It's been what we call, there's lots of deferred maintenance. Yeah. But that's over a million-dollar home, even in this market, well over that, uh, when that thing's gleaming. Mm-hmm. Right. And the, it's built like a brick. You know what? Yeah. You know, I don't want that twenty five thousand dollar fine. So I won't <laughs> say. But it is a, it is a great one. That's out on Airport Road. I would it, you go to the, our webs. Any of these properties I'm going to go over on my website, JasonBakerTeam.com. You just scroll to the bottom. You can see the professional photos and the videos and all the stuff that we do, the media that we put forward on our listings. But that one has been we're having tons of showings on that, even in this market right now. And I think, you know, in, in our description, you know, people are like, why do you put that it needs TLC on there? Aren't you trying to be a salesperson? No, because and you're... And I'm like, no, because I'm what you, you know. call freaking honest. Yeah, exactly. You, yeah. you know, like, they're going to go there and see it anyway, and they're just going to be mad at me if I, you know, so... And the seller didn't say that or anything. It was just like, you know, everybody's always trying to just sell. And sometimes I think sales approaches dishonesty. Right. You know, I just think, just tell people. Do people love genuine, you know, people who are genuine, you mm-hmm. know? Yeah, I know. It's like it definitely a quality that's going away, it seems like, these days. Got this awesome new home out in Superior. We sell a lot of property in Superior, and we love Superior. And does this show how – far, how far west does this do – do people even hear us in Superior? Oh, yeah. What? They do. Yeah. Okay, nice. I don't even know. I should, probably should have asked you. Hey, people in Superior, thanks Hello, for listening Superior. to Real Estate that's right. You know you're out <laughs> shooting guns right now, but you know. Um, yeah, we just sold an off-grid property out there, but we love Superior. And this is a brand new build. Friends of ours, our kids go to school together, just great people. Um, I love them a lot. And, uh, and one of the reasons why I love them is they give me a lot of crap. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, they're builders and uh, they're out there on 211 Osprey Lane. This is a brand new house, three bedroom, two bath, about 1,800 square feet. And uh, it is just all main level, beautiful yard. And, you know, the river's right across the street there. And it's just, uh, you know, it's kind of farmhouse style. It's I got a beautiful pantry. Is it in and, town or just slightly out of town? Uh, just, it's in town. Oh, it's cool. uh, Well, you, you know, if you drive, you get off of the exit there and you take mm-hmm. a right and you can, you know, it's probably three quarters of a mile up. You go through the, the older homes and then just past that, there's a new subdivision along the river. Yeah. And that's where that is. It's not uh, actual river front there, but it's, Close uh, enough. yeah, it's just like you could throw a rock and you'd hit the neighbor's house first, but then it would bounce into <laughs> the river. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I'm not, and I'm not advocating that you go do that, you know, okay. Just disclaimer, you know, going to say that, uh, and everything else. Um, just, uh, reduced, uh, and we just reduced the price from five twenty five to four ninety nine nine on that one. And that's just a, that's just a gorgeous property there. Um, one that we did, uh, you know, here's a, here's a, we, we had one listed out 4618 Potter Park out in a Harry Potter land out oh, there. Yeah. yeah, past Expressway out by the new car dealerships I lived out and there. stuff. Yeah, I lived a, out there. my mom was out there. Yeah, and she she, she loves the neighborhood and it. people. Yeah, it's it's great. There's awesome it's a parks great out neighborhood there. for trick or treating. It, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh dude, I'm telling you what. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Dude. If you want to get some like uh, fat stores for the <laughs> yeah. winter, yeah, that's a good neighborhood to do it <laughs> in. You trick or treating. Yeah, being able to live through the the winter there on the candy, but. Uh, or you want your kids to have cavities or something like that. You know, that's a good place to get them, yeah. I love Kit Kat. What's your favorite candy bar? Uh, Reese's. Reese's. Yeah. Oh, man. Yep. I like I like Butterfingers and, and uh, Kit Kats. Oh. Those are my favorite. Sometimes an Almond Joy. Isn't that weird? Just kind of go like the opposite. Gotta mix way. it up a little bit. Gotta mix it up. Yeah, it's kind of like, <laughs> kind of like hunting season. You got antelope, deer, you know, <laughs> ducks. Um, so that's a really nice one out there in Potter Park. And um, we just listed a gorgeous house uh, out there in, in uh, uh on Cinderella Drive in Alberton, that's listed at eight seventy five and three bedroom, two bath, but it's got a a, sh- a big shop and it's on um, you know some acreage out there as well. So that's a nice one. 
Um, we got a beautiful property down on 795 Bourne Lane in Victor, and this one's on almost 10 acres down there, and um, been like remodeled. That's staged amazing, and that's listed at 832, and that's been well, 10 know, acres. Oh, yeah, almost 10 acres down. It's just a it's just a really nice house. It's got two kitchens, and so it's got like uh, you know. You know, you're not really supposed to say multi generational, but I just said it. Yep. Um, but you know, there and the reason why I say is, her dad was living down there. We would well, come mother in law suite is what you mean. Yeah, it was the a fa- it was a father suite, suite though. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was kind of like that, and uh, you know, that was a, a really good thing, and and uh, you know, people really like that. Um, we've got a beautiful uh, one of the. Uh, it's a manufactured home. It is not on a permanent foundation, but it's down on Hamilton on Little Corey Lane, and. Um, got some outbuildings there. Really good pride of ownership down there for only two seventy nine nine. There's not a lot of. Uh, I mean, you know, bed and bath. You know that one down there's got uh, three uh, bedrooms, one bath, but they're putting in a second bathroom. It's not quite done yet, uh, but that's a real good option. That's not there. a bad price. No, no, it's got almost you know, just over a half acre there. And then um, we just had this one was under contract and it itself failed, but this one's on one seventeen Sage. Um, you know, it's like I mean, this thing is. Uh, you know, it's a fairly, it's, you know, about 2,000 square feet right there and just a great house. Four bedrooms, two baths right in the arbors down there and just a great property at four ninety nine. That's Hamilton. Yeah, that's yep. Hamilton. Yep. Yep. We had that. You know, that's the thing where we had, uh, you know, uh, you know, I think we had 22, 23 homes under contract. And of those with just the rate increases, it wasn't anything to do with the uh, uh, wasn't anything to do with the house. But for the rate increases and the buyers going, you know. We just can't pay these payments. You know, we had six sale fails in the last. We haven't had six sale fails in three years. Yep. We had six sales fails, sale fails uh, due to interest rates and financing uh, in the last, gosh, two weeks, two and a half weeks. Wow. You know, I mean, that's a, that's definitely a sign of the time. I mean, sellers can really expect there to be a lot of sale fails. So, yeah. you know, I, I've been I probably mentioned this before. I, I made a, uh, a a goal. Yeah. Um, to to own five acres in five years, mm-hmm. and I think that was about three and a half years ago, yeah. four years ago. Yeah. <laughs> so time's ticking. Yep. Um, do you think that's still possible to buy dirt? And yeah. Build or, or? I, I really, I really do. I think right now. So there's a couple ways to look at it. Inflation could cause an inflation in the cost of goods, which mm-hmm. is typically what it does. So you know, lumber and this, that, and the other thing. Although lumber futures have been down and up and down and up and down, so who knows. But realistically, I believe that there's going to be a lot of, uh, you know, right now they're still on the tail end of living high on the hog. You know, yeah. a lot of the, it's hard to get a bid. It takes a long time to get someone over there to look at this, someone to look at that, someone to come remodel, someone to do this, some of that. I think that's all going to slow down. So I think although the cost of goods might go down, I think we're going to start seeing some competitive nature in the remodel and, and new build, uh, you know, space. Mm-hmm. I really think there's going to be some competition there. And one of the reasons is we're having a lot of large builders coming and building hundreds of homes, buying up all these subdivisions and blocking out the local builders that we've relied on for a long time. You know, these hedge funds or these people have hundreds of millions of dollars at their disposal and they're diversifying rather than building all for, you know, say in California, you know, they're, they're starting to come up here and diversifying their, their subdivisions, if you will, um, or assets just uh, geographically. And so um, we have, I won't mention any names, but we have some larger builders, three or four of them coming in town buying up a lot of the stuff out at the Y and then also over by the airport. And if you're not careful, you're, you're, and you're a local builder and you don't somehow either get together, work together or get ahead of them, mm-hmm. which it's hard to with that kind of money because they're, you know, they're probably overpaying. Um, and I don't know how long they'll do that. You know, most of these things have been set in motion before the market shift. But if they don't start doing that, it's going to be a lot of people wondering about where in the world they're going to go build more than one house at a time. Right. You know, so they're going to have to start considering that as well. What's the story on the subdivision in Florence? There's like 74 homes I heard of. Yeah, they have some going on down there, and it seems to be, uh, uh, oh, you know, moving forward. But it's not my subdivision, so I'm not intricately involved in all of that. So, you know, our thing, you know, we'd love to, you know, we love uh, the development space and everything like that. But what we really love is one-on-one conversations with human beings right. versus corporations. And, and that's really our forte is one at a time. Right. Yeah. We just, we love people. We love the people we meet. They become family. Exactly. So that's what makes Jason Baker's Rise Realty team so special. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's de- <laughs> definitely not my looks. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's one of the greatest things in the world and more belly to belly, uh, you know, at a kitchen table. Yeah. And, and I get to meet those people and call them on the holidays and send them stuff and, and see how they're doing, check on their kids and, you know, things like that. And, um, it's something I love. And, you know, you don't always get that 
you know, on the listing side with corporations and stuff like that. I wouldn't exactly. turn down some of Someone number. called and said, Jason, yeah. would you like to list 85 properties for me? I'm going to be like, no, 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 we would do that. Um, and we would do it very well. Yeah. It's just one of those things where, uh, you know, our forte is uh, one by one. Uh, residentially, yeah. Yeah, chip away at it. Yeah, I mean, we're, 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 more than chipping away. I mean, uh, everything's up this year. We praise God for that. That's for sure. Well, if you're interested in uh, sitting belly to belly at the kitchen table with Jason, <laughs> how do we reach out to you? Now we're now, we're just saying that there's one belly there. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely yeah. bellies. Yeah. Well, in this area. <laughs> best way to just just call me four zero six five five two four 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 three. I'm forty six years old and I'd never bit anyone. I'm almost forty seven, by the way. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And uh, or just go to our website jasonbakerteam.com. Uh, I prefer to hear from people, but you know sometimes they're shy, so they just go to my website, which is fine. Uh, or they can just uh, Google us. Uh, Jason Baker Team will pop right up there, and you can re- re- read our two hundred and sixty positive. Of reviews. Yeah, it's, it's a proven fact that he will answer his phone even if he's in the duck blank. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jason, well, we are out of time. Thank you uh, so buddy. much for coming in, and we'll yeah. see you next Sunday. All right, thanks. Real Estate Revolution Radio. If you missed any of it, you can find all of our previous shows at NewstalkKGBO.com.